How to win at checkers. Ready to start beating your family and friends at checkers? Learn the fundamentals of checkers and you'll have a big advantage over amateur players. If you're ready to take your game to the next level, there are some specific strategies that can help to improve your chances of winning. You may also want to consider getting into tournament play or working with an expert to improve your game. Improving your chances of winning. Focus on crowning more pieces than your opponent. In checkers, the person who has more kings also has the advantage. Try to crown as many pieces as possible to increase your chances of winning the game. To put this advice into practice, advance a piece toward an area on your board where your opponent has fewer pieces, or pieces that are more spread out. If you can protect this piece with nearby pieces and sacrifices, then you have a good chance at making a king. See intermediate strategies below for how to redirect the enemy and sneak through a king. Keep your back row in place until you need to move those checkers. It's impossible for your opponent to crown his or her pieces if your back row is occupied, so this strategy will prevent your opponent from getting the advantage too soon in the game. You will also have more movement options left when you do start moving your back row pieces. Remember that you won't be able to keep your back row intact forever. Once you're low on pieces or you see an opportunity for an advantageous trade, don't hesitate to move out. Advance pieces in close groups and in tandem. Two pieces in tandem are adjacent to each other on a diagonal line. Keeping pieces near enough to form tandem in one move makes it much harder for your opponent to capture them. Following a piece you moved earlier before you move it again will leave your front piece less open to capture. Following it with two pieces is even safer, since you can block capture from two directions. See intermediate strategies to learn how to form trapping pairs. Trade checkers when you're ahead. It's obvious that trading one of your checkers for two of your opponent's checkers benefits you, but even trading one for one is useful if you had more checkers to begin with. For example, if you have five checkers and your opponent has four checkers, then the board is almost equal. But once you trade three pieces each, you have a huge advantage with twice as many pieces as your opponent, two to one. Control the center of the board. If you keep a few pieces near the center, you will keep your options open and be able to move rapidly to whichever side of the board needs your attention. Likewise, preventing your opponent from placing pieces in the center will deny him or her this advantage. It takes practice to judge how many pieces you need to commit to the center in a particular game. As a general rule, you should try to build up enough of a position that the opponent is unable to safely advance anywhere except the left and right edges. After that goal is achieved, adding more of your pieces can actually clog up your board and lower your options. 7. 